Oh, all right. Let's uh, let's kick 2024 off with a bang. It's time to say goodbye to Goon Life. Mmm, that is hot. Well, I hope you are recovering well from your hangover. Hope you had an amazing time last night. I hope your 2024 is off to an incredible start. Um, I am a little under the weather, so I'm drinking canela, which for those of you who aren't Hispanics, it's just some witchcraft Mexican tea, but it works and it makes me feel better. So I'm drinking it. Now, 2024 for myself is going to bring a lot of changes. And as you can probably already tell, most notably, it's time to say goodbye to Goon Life. So the channel will no longer be called Jim's Goon Life. It'll just be Jimmy B. Rodriguez, and that's just my name. Now, there's a, there's a few reasons behind this, so sit down, get comfortable. Let's have a little conversation about why we're changing it, but along with some of the other changes that are coming to the channel. As I've said before, I didn't start this channel with the intent of making content. I didn't want to be a character or, you know, I wasn't trying to make something to, to make content. You know, I didn't come into the gun industry and go, I'm going to make content and I'm going to make, you know, whatever, and I'm, it's going to blow up and be this thing. That was never my intent. I actually got into the gun industry because I just wanted to be better prepared. I wanted to become a better shooter. Um, you know, up until that moment in my life, I wasn't really like into training. And I got into the gun industry because I wanted to be more into training and I wanted to be better prepared. And I wanted to learn from guys who knew more than I did so that I could be better prepared and so that I could help others and, and that I could protect my family and, and prepare for whatever it is to come, you know, in this crazy world that we live in. That's, that's how I got into the industry. And it just so happened to be that while I was in the industry, I realized I had access to a lot of cool people and a lot of cool stuff. And I was like, you know, it'd be really cool to share this. And that's why I started making content. I made content because I wanted to share the experiences I was having. I wanted to share the learning that I was was going through with other people in the hopes that it would help them. Uh, and I just wanted to, to document my own journey, my own path, so that one day I could look back and see all the, the cool things I got to do and then the amazing people I got to meet along the way and maybe one day share with my son. So that's really why I started making content. And with that being the case, I never really thought about the name too much. I was just looking for a cool name that, you know, it, it was a hidden Instagram account that nobody was supposed to find. I just wanted to share my gun stuff there apart from my main job. And it ended up turning into what it is now, you know? Um, short story long, it, it's this thing now. And I enjoy it and I'm grateful for it and I love it. Uh, but I think it's time to say goodbye to Goon Life. And, and the reason for that is, is there's the, there's been a rise in the use of the term goon and it's taken on its own like identity and everybody has their own concept of what it means and like older people, older generations uh, of course have a certain connotation that goes with it because that's really where it came from and then the younger generation has a different one and you know it involves a lot of gas stations and nods and like and neither of those are really me and like I, there's stuff that I do that I can't talk about or show it's not like you know, secret squirrel stuff. But um, as Taylor can attest, there's a lot of things that we do that we cannot show for a multitude of reasons. Real goons don't post photos of what they do. They don't make videos about it on YouTube or social media. So um, I, want, I just wanna get away from the term. I just wanna get away from the term goon. And um, you know, now that this has become what it is, I, I want it to be about me and my life and my passions. And there's so many other things I'm more passionate about, or not more passionate, there's so many other things that I'm passionate about outside of just shooting outside of just being a prepared citizen. And, um, you know, I was, I was thinking about this and having a conversation with somebody the other day. And it was like, we, we talk about normalizing guns, right? So like making guns, making plate carriers, making night vision and lasers and suppressors, making that normal. And the more that people see that, the normal normalize it becomes. And so it's not such a big shock factor. And I think that is one side of the coin. I think the other side of the coin is to normalize guns. We have to show our normal lives for a lot of us we have this gun life that lives in isolation. I mean, that's how this channel started. I didn't really want my employer to find out about it. And I know some people who follow this channel are the same way. You can't show your gun stuff on your normal account because, you know, they're just not pro-gun. So for whatever reason, but the way we normalize that in culture is to show that we're normal people, but we're also prepared, that we're not like these crazy wackos that just are off, you know, doing crazy weird rituals in the woods. So um, I wanna show more of my normal life. I wanna show more of the other things that I'm into. Like I, I do a lot of overlanding stuff that I never show or talk about. And I wanna show some of that. Um, I'm very much into watches. And so I've got some cool things in the works that I wanna, that I'm excited to share with you guys over the next year. Um, but yeah, I wanna show more than just guns. Now, now the content, will still be the same. It will be predominantly associated to the gun community, but I, I wanna show some what I call gun community adjacent things and how they tie in together. So you'll see more of that, but it was just time to, to let go 
of of goon life, and I'm okay with that. You know, it was kind of hard for a while. Something I've been thinking about for over a year now, and it's like one of those things like, dude, you just got to rip the bandaid off, just move on. Like, just I just want to be me, and you know, hopefully you guys stick around for this transition and and um, some of the new content that's coming because I think you'll like it. But if you don't, I appreciate you being a part of the journey this far. Mm. If you haven't had Gunella, you're missing out. So what are some of the other changes that are coming or what does this mean for the channel as a whole? Like I said, content's pretty much gonna stay the same, although there will be some new stuff coming in. Uh, there will be a larger focus on competition. So <clears throat> I have this saying, because I get called a shill so much, I have this saying with my friends, skills, not shills. And the, the idea is just that like, I wanna help people develop skills and I don't really care about what you shoot. Just because I review something doesn't mean that I'm saying you have to buy that thing. Like if what you have works, shoot it. And if you go watch my reviews at the end of almost every review, I tell you, if what you have works, just keep using it. This is just my opinion on this product. Um, but the main thing, if you go watch my content, majority of my content over the past year has all been about training. And it's one degree or another trying to help people become more efficient uh, more prepared, more equipped, more proficient with their equipment, able to do more with what they have rather than trying to buy a bunch of things they don't necessarily need. There will be a bigger emphasis on competitive shooting. You'll see more of that, more matches coming up in 2024, more of the prep, more of like the post-match breakdown, some of the training, talking with some other shooters, things like that. You'll see more of that. So I'm looking to do more and more of that. I, I, I understand why I get called a shill and it is what it is, it comes with the territory. But uh, as I've said in previous videos, I'm now shooting for Sons of Liberty Gunworks. Now, there will still be some other content, like I've got Galils that I've got to shoot and do videos on. I've got Seekins that I've got to shoot and do videos on. So there's going to be more content coming out on other brands. It won't all be just Sons of Liberty, but I will be shooting their guns predominantly in matches and in training. And I, and I try to be upfront about that because that allows me to put out the training content for you guys. So like that's why I appreciate partnering with brands like them and partnering with brands like Big Techs like Bauer and like Tag Firearms. They've been incredibly supportive uh, of this channel and I'm incredibly thankful for them and, and all that they've done. So you'll see more stuff like that. And then of course, other products or accessories that, that I have access to, I will also try to do videos on those. The hard part with reviews though, is that the more I've done reviews, the more I realize it takes more and more work to do them if you're doing reviews right. There's a lot of guys that get product and like same day will turn out a video. And that's cool, that's their jam, that's just not me. You know, maybe they're more skilled than I am. Maybe they're just smarter than I am and they're able to do that, but that's not me. It takes time for me to figure stuff out because it takes time to find the nuances of where guns actually perform. Like where do they start to fall off? Where do they deteriorate? Where do, you know, you start to find little snags or things that start to, to break or fall apart, you know? And, and it takes time to do that. Shooting lots of rounds in different environments over time in just different situations, it takes time to figure that out. And that's why these Galil videos are taking so long. That's why this bulk gun video is taking so long. Um, and and I, what I'll start doing is just I'll break them up into smaller videos, giving you guys a first look, kind of like I did with the Suns. And then as I test them out, just giving you guys routine updates so that you can kind of make your own decisions. So you'll see a lot less reviews and then it probably won't necessarily be called reviews. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's your gunfight. You got to own it. It's up to you. So I just want to provide you guys the data and the information so you can make an educated decision and an educated purchase as you're, you know, preparing for whatever it is you want to do. And then the last thing, and this is a big one for me for 2024, is I want to interact more with you guys. So uh, in the link down below, for those of you who don't know, I started the ammo library. And so that's in there and I will be updating that ammo library. I've got like three more that I've just now tested that I've got to update that PDF. So um, you'll see that in there. I'll continue to do that throughout the year. Um, in that blog, there's also an article from uh, Mike, Average TX, where he did an intro to pistol competition shooting. So if you're wanting to get into competitive shooting on the pistol side, he did this great write-up and it's got a bunch of links in there. And so that's also in there. But I'm trying to put out more content that you guys are asking for. Like if I just put out content that I just, you know, somebody sends me a product and I do a review of it, cool. That's, you know, we all get entertained by that. Yeah, it kills some time. But I wanna make sure that you guys are getting the content you actually want. And I'm, you know, maybe I don't have all the answers. Actually, I know I don't have all the answers, but I can connect with people who do. And that's the thing is like, I wanna try to put, put more content together for you guys that is answering the questions you have, that's helping you guys develop the skills that you wanna develop. Um, that, that's what I wanna do more. I wanna have more of this be like an interactive thing, more of like a community and less of just me putting out, you know, whatever stuff and hoping you guys like it. So. Uh, I would love for you guys to interact 
in the comment sections, shoot me DMs, tell me what you guys want to see. Uh, somebody had a great idea for a video and they were like, um, as, as it relates to uh, training with SPR, so that's going to become a video. They shot me a DM, a screenshot, it was like, dude, great idea, I can do that. Um, so things like that, you know, and, and as these other topic ideas come out, um, if there's something you guys want to see in those, I think it'd be really cool to have you guys interact on that too. So uh, I'm very excited about 2024. Thank you guys for following along the journey thus far. And uh, I hope you continue to support as we go to this next chapter and start to explore some new things. But um, yeah, it's going to be a great year. So make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe. Karate chop that bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Also, two things. One, it may be the last time you ever have to hear that intro music. So I know some of you love it, I know some of you hate it. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. Two, I realize at the time of this video dropping, Michigan hasn't played Alabama yet. So some of you may be watching this after that game. And based on how the Big Ten had played, thus up to this point in bowl games, it's not looking too hot for us. But I wouldn't be a fan if I only supported them when they did well. So... If we lose, we'll take it on the chin. We'll get ready for next year. If we win, see you guys at the national title.